In the previous video, we learned how to set up Storybook in a React project that was created using Create React App. There were two stories which were created for us as part of the setup and we were able to view those stories in the browser. So a Storybook is basically a collection of stories and each story represents a single visual state of a component. And it is our job as developers to write stories for each of the UI components we create in our React application. In this video, we will do just that. We will learn how to write a simple story for a button component. To get rid of any confusion, I'm going to delete the stories folder that was created in the previous video. Now, as part of the story writing process, we need to have three main files. First would be the component itself. In our case, a button component. Second would be the styles related to the button component. Finally, we would have the story corresponding to the component. And it is a good idea to put the three files together in one single folder. So in this video, we have a few steps to implement. Let's go over them one by one. For our first step in the source folder, I'm going to create another folder called components. This will be the place for all our components. In this video, we want to create a button component. So in the components folder, I'm going to create another folder called button. Within this folder, we create the three files. Button.js, button.css, and button.stories.js. Let's add the code in each of these files, starting with button.js. This file is going to contain the button component so use the snippet rfce to create a function component. The component will receive props and we are going to destructure variant children and leave out the rest. For the variant prop, I'm going to add a default value of primary. For the JSX, we simply return a button where class name is equal to two classes. One is a class called button and the second is the variant prop. We also pass in rest of the props. For the button text, we render children. So that is our button component. All we are trying to do is add some styling to a button element and then create variations of the button with the variant prop. Next, let's add the styling. In button.css, first, I'm going to create a button class with some styles. This defines the base styling for a button. Now, we create the variations with four more classes. So we basically have four classes which change the background color of the button. Primary would be blue, secondary or gray, success is green and danger is red. That is all the code required in the CSS file. Let's import it in button.js. So import dot slash button dot CSS. Next, for the most important bit, writing the button story. First, we make the necessary imports. We import React and the button component. Next, we write our story for this button component in a format called component story format. This format has a default export and one or more named exports. Let's first add the default export. The default export object has one property called title, which is mandatory. 
and should be unique within your entire project. This is also the text you see in the left side navigation panel in Storybook. We're going to set button as the title. The second property I'm going to add is the component property. This is equal to the button component we've imported. This property is optional but encouraged as some of the add-ons rely on this property. So the default export provides some metadata about the story and the corresponding component. Next, we specify the named exports. Every named export in this file represents a story. What that means is that a menu item is created under the button title in the storybook for each of the named exports. For our button component, we want to visualize how the button looks in the four different variations. Now a named export is basically a React component. So for our primary variant of the button component, we can add export const primary is going to be equal to a function component, which basically returns the button component with text as primary and variant is equal to primary. Similarly, I'm going to add in the other three variants as well. Secondary, success, danger. And let me lowercase the variant strings. And that pretty much is our story for the button component. If we now run the command yarn storybook in the terminal, we can see our storybook in the browser. On the side nav, we have an entry for the button component. And this is the title property we specified in the default export. Under this title, we have the names of the four named exports, primary, secondary, success, and danger. And if I click through each of them, we can see the different variations of the button component. Danger doesn't seem to be working, and that is because I have misspelled it. Go back to the browser, and we have the red colored danger variation. As you can see, without having to worry about your app requirements or the business logic, we can create and visualize UI components in isolation. If you have a design system in place, the creation of components can happen well before your project roadmap is even completed. From a team point of view, this is something that is really useful. Let me just go over how all this is working so that you have a good understanding. When you run the command yarn storybook, the command goes to main.js to check the pattern and pick up the appropriate stories. It sees that any file with .stories.js has to be picked up. We have one such file, button.stories.js. Here, the code reads the default export and adds an entry in the side nav. It then picks up the named exports and renders the actual components. In our case, we are rendering the button component passing in a class name prop and some text as its children. The control then goes to the button component, which reads the props and returns a button element with the class name and the text. The class name applies the styling based on the styles mentioned in the button.css file. All this comes together in the Storybook app for us to visualize the component. Storybook has fulfilled its job of being a development environment and playground for UI components. So this is how you write stories with Storybook. As an exercise, I want you guys to write another story, but this time for an input component. And instead of creating variations based on color, you can create variations based on size. So please go ahead and create an input component whose size can be small or medium or large. Write the component, 
the CSS file and also the stories.js file. I'll do that offline as well and we can take a look at the code in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.